Welcome to the Paige Campbell Show, episode four. Uh, I have indeed assembled the fantastic four for this episode. Um, Nick Piginino, uh, Noah Clark, hey, how's it going? And Andrew Wilson, his first time ever on the show. What's up? I'm proud to be here. I'm glad you're here. It's good to have you. I've been wanting you on the show since episode one, before since episode one, since, since you were conceived. <laughs> before you were conceived, I wanted you on the show. Um, I, I called us the Fantastic Four, right? Because the Fantastic Four, there's four of us. They're a good group of heroes. Um, if we were the Fantastic Four, which characters would we be? Silver Surfer. He's not a member of the Fantastic Four. Um, I think Noah's the thing. All right. Just, no, 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 no. I wanted to be the Human Torch, but if you're going to lay that on <laughs> I'm me. saying you're solid as a rock. Thanks. Um, you walk in the room, and I instantly think it's clobbering time. <laughs> Instantly. I'd like to be Invisible Man. Invisible Woman? I mean, You no. can be Invisible Woman. <laughs> I, I, um, See, that's the thing. One of us has to be a woman if we're the Fantastic Four. All right, I'll take one. Well, what about Spider-Man? Man? Wasn't he in the Fantastic Four? Well, no, I want Andrew to be the Invisible Woman. He, he because was. Spider-Man was in the Fantastic Four. No, for, for a little bit, but... Oh, was he? Really? For a little bit, but for like a couple... I want to see that Fantastic shoes, Four. Shoes. A couple of shoes. Um, no, the thing is... I'm obviously Mr. Fantastic. Right. Obviously. obviously. So I want Andrew to be I'd the invisible I'd woman. Back. I'd like to be the human torch. I'll be the invisible woman. You're because high, they're married I'd and they have children together. Be the human so torch, I want like that to happen. I like where this is going. Okay. Uh, Nick, you said you're the, I'd human like to torch? Be the human torch? Okay, the human torch is nice. That means you're Andrew's brother. He's a spicy meatball. Hey. Oh. hey, it's kind of like in re- well, it's not like in real life. <laughs> Do we have anyone that like hates us? Like who's our, who's our Doctor Doom? Say so, probably like big government corporations. <laughs> Walmart. Walmart. Probably right. Walmart is our doctor. You sounds good. Mm. Um, Andrew, do you have a topic? My doctor. I don't have one. Okay, um, that's all right. But you do have to leave early, so wanted to get your topic out of the way. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. It's all right. Just don't let it happen again. <laughs> all right. Uh, Noah, do you have a topic? Um, I guess. Anybody okay. have any uh, habits or ticks? Like I'm a nail biter. Yeah, I do. Um, it's one of these things. Like, it's not even a nervous habit. I don't think. Um, when they get too long, I just bite them off. I do that. I don't I like to cut them because when you cut them, you cut them way too short. Do you ever? I I, I can't stand it. Um, anybody else? I bite my nails during uh, nail biters, like movies. Oh yeah, that's why they're called nail biters. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Is that? It all makes sense. It, right. <laughs> I literally have never figured that one out. It, <laughs> They're called nail biters for a reason, Andrew. Well, well I pictured like a nail. Yeah. Like like a oh, nail. you're biting the nail? Yeah. That could like, I didn't it's, it's sort of like biting the bullet. Who makes like, the nail in my thought? You know why they say you bite the bullet? Because you're about to do something hard. When they, uh, all right. <laughs> I get the entendre. No, but um, like during like the Civil War or whatever, when they didn't have, um, as, uh, when they didn't have um, things to numb the pain, what are they called? I can't remember right now. Painkillers. Well, Painkillers, I guess. Pain no, but um, like laughing gas or whatever. Mm-hmm. When they didn't have that, they would give you a bullet to bite. Oh right. Because right, right, like right. clenching your teeth down will yeah, yeah. numb the pain. Uh, but hurt your teeth. It hurt your teeth, but <laughs> I mean they're cutting your leg off, so <laughs> it would hurt a lot less. Yeah, that's true. Anybody else nervous ticks? Nervous sabots? I get a strange compulsion that uh, like when I brush my teeth mm-hmm. and, I, and I go to rinse out my water. Or my mouth with water, mm-hmm. I do it the same way like every time. It's weird. I don't know how to. What do you mean? I mean I'm not. Just like drink the water in a certain way. I don't know how to describe it. It's weird, I feel like. That sounds like pretty that nice. Sounds like something I could get into. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, other than like nail biting, I can't really. I talk to myself a oh, lot. Yeah. I, no, and it's one of these things like you hear people say they talk to themselves. I feel like I do it uh, differently. I have conversations with myself. <laughs> I'm not, and I'm, I kid you not, like, I'll be in my room, and I'll be, like, playing, like, Pokemon or whatever, and I'll be like, oh, that was a good move. That was a good move, wasn't it? You know what I mean? Like, I have conversations with myself. Sometimes I tell myself jokes. Yeah. When there's nobody to share them with, I'm like, that's a good good joke. Yeah, that's a great joke. Good job. Anybody? Nick? Nervous habits, I don't have very many anymore. When I was little, I used to. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But not. not I'd like an example. No, come on. I still do. um, There's a certain, like, uh. Along the lines of what Noah said, except not with brushing teeth, with other stuff. It's like compulsions, kind of? Mm-hmm. Yeah, OCD stuff. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> when I was a kid, I uh, was very OCD. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I 
if I touch something, like I had to make sure I touched it the same way with the other hand. Yeah, mm. me too. Me too. So that happens to me sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nowadays. Yeah, that yeah, stuff would drive me crazy. I I have a topic. Okay, let's hear it. Um, food. Food. Let's talk about foods that we love. Foods okay. That we I hate. Love food. Um, that, I don't, that I hate. I'll be honest. I I do have some foods that I hate, and I guess this could kind of go under compulsions because there's no real reason I hate them, but like melons. Like watermelons, I, I kid you not. No, like watermelons and like cantaloupe, I can't stand them. Like I smell them and I like feel like I'm gonna puke. What? I, I don't know why. Cantaloupe is one of the tastiest things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cantaloupe you didn't know this? No, I, I like, like they, the other day we, uh, we had it at dinner and like the smell makes me want to puke. It's oh awful. Goodness. I don't know. It's I don't know the reason for it. Mm-hmm. Some weird psychological thing, I guess. Yeah. Melons. Uh, yeah. yeah. A lot of people like them. Well, I do. Like them. <laughs> melons are wonderful. Um, certain types of melons I can deal with. Um. What about you, Nick? You got any? Uh, foods that I hate or foods that hate? I love? I don't know. Foods that... We'll go with hate first, since I just said what I hate. Let's all go around the table. And hey, then let's, start, let's start on the other side. I need time to think. All right. Okay. I already said what I hate. Melons. Well, well, here's a question. Is there anything that does not go good with bacon? That's a good point. Yes. Sunny yeah. D does not go good with bacon. <laughs> Sunny D sure? does because it's, not? it's pretty put, much orange put, juice. If you put bacon in Sunny D, it explodes. Like, okay. Uh, does no, it? I, I don't know. Have you seen the commercial? I, I, I haven't seen actually. that commercial. Oh, there's a commercial and it's like, Sunny D, even, even bacon can't make it better. And then they put bacon in the Sunny D and it explodes. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen that. That's awesome. That like just, sorry, um, but no, Sunny D is basically orange juice and I drink orange juice oh, yeah, at breakfast. Yeah, I bet it does though. I bet it does go. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. I... I eat, there's a bunch of foods that I used to not like. I feel like uh, I remember when I was when I was a little purple uh, purple drank grape soda. Grape soda really it used to give me headaches. Really, but I, huh. I love this. Yeah, you still like it. It just yeah. doesn't and agree with you. Frozen pizza used to give me headaches. Yeah, th- I I didn't get headaches, but like stomach aches. You know, like there are foods that like you eat and like you love them, but like they're not like mm-hmm. they don't agree with you. Oh, yeah. Like uh, popcorn for me, I love popcorn. But, like, if I eat too much of it, it's really? not a good... Yeah, I had sheets two days in a mm. row mm-hmm. um, last it week. It gave you the sheets. <laughs> yeah, it... it uh, I can it, imagine. It took me a week to get over it. <laughs> right, gotcha. <laughs> and uh, I got the same thing both times, a uh, egg and cheese and bacon croissant, which... Okay. With uh, churros and sweet cream sauce to dip the churros in. <laughs> okay. S- sheets, surprisingly, has good food. Have you ever... Oh, oh it's yeah, so good. They really do, it surprisingly. Have you ever had sheets food, Nick or I, I have. Yes, I, I, I have. had a hot sauce. Yes. I had a messy hot like, dog um, there once. Mm. Some kind of, like, spicy orange sauce. I don't... Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's like explosion sauce or something. You wouldn't expect, like, gas station food to be oh, good, yeah, but true. it's the really good. Well, like, 7-Eleven has great, like... <clears throat> Like their uh, taquitos. Oh, yeah. Oh, and like okay. chili cheese dogs, dude. Mm, oh, so yeah. Hungry. And Slurpees, oh, of course. Get some food. <laughs> Making me hungry. Let's go get some food. Let's order, uh, let's order in. So what's, what's up? Pa- Does 7 Eleven deliver? I wish they did, dude. That'd be awesome. Chinese. Little Caesars. You can get Chinese. Five, Ch- Does five, Chinese five, deliver? Five, Little five, Caesars. Five, Little Caesars doesn't deliver, five, but. Five, like for the value, Caesars. Little Caesars five, is five, very good. Yeah, for the value. Five bucks for yeah. a pizza. But they don't They don't deliver. It's pretty hot and ready. True. Yeah. Some not. It depends on what you get. Like if you get like pepperoni or cheese, they always have it ready. Yeah. But if you get something they don't normally make, like sausage, forget about it. <sighs> it's not hot and ready. False advertising. Um, this is not cold and ready. That's it is. Yeah. <laughs> cold and ready. Lukewarm Some people ready. like cold pizza. Yeah, lukewarm. <laughs> yeah, that at my house. So I'm not a big fan of cold pizza. I don't know. I, don't, I had some this morning actually. Was it good? It was homemade pizza. Oh okay. And it was. It was cold. What I was on it? it? Uh, there was some cheese. There were some mushrooms. There's some uh, mozzarella. There's I like mushrooms. Crust. There's sauce. There's not a huge mushroom. Peppers. I love mushrooms. Oh, so is that your food that you don't like? Olives. Yeah, I do mm-hmm. not like mushrooms. All right, that's fair. Cheese. I mean, I don't. I don't like mushrooms. Yeah, I don't like mushrooms. Shrooms. Yeah, I do not like mushrooms. All right, that's fair. Cheese. I mean, uh, shrooms. Shrooms. I just <laughs> peppers. There's ham. Right. I, just, I like I shrooms. Pepperonis. Like <laughs> yeah. Right. Pepperonis. Like any food that makes the the uh, walls melt, I'm I'm all about. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but throw it on a pizza and it's not yeah. the same. <laughs> throw it on a pizza. Now you like cold pizza. Do you like cold spaghetti? <laughs> right. Yes. You do. Ooh, yeah. cold. I've not had cold spaghetti. That's some cold spaghetti. I've had cold sakuras. That's. Dude, cold sakuras is that. is great. Here's the thing. is like. I think that's the sign of a great food. Like, that is, it's good, good no matter how you eat it. 
It's true. It really is. I'm not kidding. You eat it cold, it's great. You eat it lukewarm, it's great. And it makes me question, you know, Japanese people seem to be in really good shape. Mm-hmm. And well, we, except for... We in America are not, but mm-hmm. if you look at what they're eating, it's all it is is rice and butter and meat. Yeah. And then you put that yum yum on there. Yum yum's like oh, mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Yeah. Oh. It's delicious, but it's like mayonnaise. <laughs> um, I think I know what I'm going to eat after this podcast. What are you going to eat? Sakura. Yeah. I'm waiting. Oh, yeah, dude. Sakura's is, is great. Probably just eat some chips or something. I don't know, something. Ice cream. So, I don't know. I mean, I have to, I have to drive. I'm going to, to the party. So. I have to drive to Stanford. Oh, yeah. You should come, with the, you should come to the party. His party. You'd have a, it's my sister's birthday. What? Her birthday's her birthday's next week, but this is the party. Go on and just say happy birthday. Give a special birthday shout out. Toby. Special uh, birthday shout out. It's actually in the thirtieth, but I hope that's right. And it's actually the thirtieth. Today's the twenty fourth. So hope she listens to this on the thirtieth. I hope so. Hopefully. I hope so. Her name's oh, Hope. I get it. Right. It's a good one. Mm. So your topic's food, Nick. I like yes. that topic. That's a good topic. Um, I like food. I like food a lot. Yeah, food's good. Speaking of food, I'm actually I'm going to a uh, to a uh, clam fry. Ooh. In a half hour or so. And I've never is that what it is? Awesome. Oh, dude, I've I love clam clams. Before. It's I don't know. It's like a really niche food because like a lot of people really don't like it. I love it. Really? It's so good. Yeah. I like oysters. Um, oysters. Yeah. So sort of in the same boat, I guess. Mm. I think you'll probably like it. Do you like seafood? I mean, I like fish when it's. Covered in tartar sauce and fried. Mm, you might not like it then. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I love um, seafood. That, that's, I, I'll say that under my love. Like, seafood is yeah, I'm seafood my first guy. love. Again, gotta have the tartar. See, I, I like tartar sauce, but uh, seafood, dude. Just like, mm. I like it all. Yeah. I don't care, like, like squid. Give oh, me that. Uh, okay. Give me that squid. I tried squid once. I like it all, dude. You guys yeah. need to get into Thai food. Thai I've food. had I've had it once or twice. Um, I haven't had it a lot though. It's great. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about like bolo or their bow or what kind of Thai food? No, come on. <laughs> no, no. Bolo ties. No. <laughs> no, way. Okay. no. Explain to me like why you love Thai food. Like what the, s- specific dishes? The flavors are great. Um, really, really rich flavors. You you want to get uh, try some curry. Curry? Yeah, get get the green curry. Chicken okay. Green curry or the pad thai. Quaid curry? Quaid curry. That's a special shout out. I'd like to get Quaid on the show. Quaid's a good guy. Yeah. I do like Quaid. Um, I wonder if he listens. I, he should. You should turn him on to it, Nick. He, uh, he should listen. He should like this show. Send him a message on the PSN. Um, yeah, he's still into video games, which is cool. I, I you was. Um, PlayStation? I haven't. No. What's his name? I don't remember. I'll give it to you. It's okay. Yeah, you I'd like to. I really would like to. Um, but no, yeah, like I saw him on the, uh, no, I was, uh, driving with Mr. Wright and he was in there. And Came so, to see you at the hotspot. Yeah, that's true too. I, ca- I caught up with him though and he's, he's a cool guy. He still plays like video quick. games, which is awesome. Yeah, we, we were talking about South Park, the stick of truth. Oh, when I, I want it so bad. You have to. It's was, so good. Yeah. Have you, was, anybody was, played I it here? Amazon, Other than me, anybody played it here? Oh my gosh! I've seen pictures and ah, it's so good. It looks it's it's exactly like you're playing an episode, yeah, and because it's like because it's like a 15 hour RPG, like it's literally like a whole another season. You know, like what what yeah. season are they on now? 17. 16 or 17. It's like literally an 18th season. That it's crazy. Awesome. But, yeah. but you get to be in it. Oh yeah, it's it's, wonderful. it's so good. Well, uh, I think I have a topic. Okay, All right. let's hear it. Let's get so into it. I guess movies, but in particular. The new Godzilla movie. Mm, I loved it. We talked you a little bit about this. I didn't see it. <sighs> yes. You didn't see it? No. Oh, oh. I was, there's a spoiler. Yeah, see, I talked a little bit about it last week, but it was just me and Noah, so I didn't want to spoilers. spoil. Can we do some spoilers on this? But I did love that. I loved it. How about you close your ears? I gotta leave. No. Yeah, just for like. But I, I'm gonna listen to this episode. Because there's one particular thing about it that bothered me. But the, there's I a few. I had a few gripes with it, but overall, I loved it. I thought it was a great film. We need more Brian. Yeah. More Brian. Is that is that your that, spoiler? That was, that's that's the problem because Brian Cranston is the entire reason that I paid ten dollars to see this movie. Oh really? He, no, 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 no. He was, he was Gohira is the entire reason I paid ten dollars to see that movie. Okay, I so good. I just. I lo- I'm a huge Godzilla fan. Well, I've seen Godzilla them all. is cool. He's awesome, but like. Kaiju. Uh, the preview, by the way, which is one of the best movie previews ever, I think, just I because it didn't give yeah, anything away. Cool, yeah. Sweet preview. 
didn't give anything away, but it's just like seeing Brian Cranston, like the greatest mm. actor ever, in my opinion, <laughs> is he's pretty good. I haven't I wanted more of him. In the I haven't movie. watched Breaking Someone, Bad. I so. read a review and they said that it seemed like two movies movies stitched together. Like the first part was Brian Cranston, right. and like uh, like yeah. his past kind of, so uh, like, and then like the the main the main guy and like um the the monster fighting bar like like it was kind of like uh. Didn't really flow too well. Yeah. yeah. What movies it, it didn't did all they stitch tie together? together that well, what but... movies were stitched together? Was it like Monsters Inc. and it's like Lilo, Jurassic Park? Lilo, Lilo <laughs> and Jurassic Park. <laughs> what yeah. two movies would you like to see stitched together if you could? Oh yeah. Well, when Godzilla like, ripped that thing. Oh my gosh. Jaws, that's that was like uh, that's some more spoilers, King but. King Kong? Spoilers, King Kong? Yeah. That's what. Yeah. It was like it reminded me of that. But, oh, yeah, yeah. The Jack Black King Kong. Movie. Or did did that happen in the original? Like 1939 King Kong? I was just thinking the recent one. But yeah. And that's happened in a lot of um yeah. like monster movies, but, but it was it was so cool. Godzilla was super super bad, eh? Yeah. Oh, I loved it. But if you could like put two movies together, I'm trying to think of like some that would be really irreverent. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, hmm. It's a good topic. Let's talk about. Yeah, it. that's I, that's what I want to talk about. Good. Like so two, any two movies. Me too movies. That you yeah. Think that would go together well. N- uh, well or not well? Because it'd be funny if they didn't go together. Uh, yeah. Well. Like Toy Story three. And like Toy Story three Schindler's and Schindler's List. List. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I was good combination combination together, right there. I was trying to think of something for Schindler's yeah. List. <laughs> anything. <laughs> trying to be anything with Schindler's List is pretty uh, irreverent. I think that the U two three sixty tour, mm-hmm. mo- um, you know, concert movie. Yeah, yeah. Mixed with fifty first date. <laughs> that would, that wouldn't turn out very well. Interesting. Look, so Bono, um, he'd just be singing the whole time. Or Adam Sandler's trying to like woo Bono. He's or trying he's to every day. He has to yeah. reconvince like, Bono. I'd like to see. I'd like to see. Um, to remember him each day. <laughs> he's like, remember me? I used to be your, your uh, bass player. And then Bono I'd like to see. Maybe, but he's really just trying to get his glasses. Maybe <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre with. Jack and Jill. Like, yeah. mm. Texas Chainsaw Massacre with like 101 Dalmatians. Okay, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> ton of Dalmatians. <laughs> Corella DeVille would like that. She, need, she wants those pelts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know of any others, uh, any other movies. There was a um, controversy this week that I wanted to talk about. Monsters University and American Pie. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it's like, yeah, it was like a classic, Up like, like college humor, not college humor, but like yeah, yeah. college. Hangover. Yeah. Well, no. Like Party I'm talking about like old school, like old school. Old school is a great. So like old school and Monsters University. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like Will Ferrell and like Sully me. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh man, that would be great. I would love to see that crossover. There's some good crossovers out there. Mm. Crossovers aren't usually done well, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like a really good crossover. There aren't really. Like Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, it's a good one. We we keep like I like we're it. Uh, we're we're great on, the same, on the same wavelength today. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Mm. Um but there's a controversy this week. Um are you you've ever played any of the Far Cry games, uh, Andrew? Not. Have you known? I haven't. I wanted to play three because it looks awesome. Three was great. <laughs> two was great. I love two. I two was a really underrated game. Um basically they're huge open world games, you run around and shoot people. Um very good. Fun. Two was in Africa. And you're in Africa running around, open world, shooting your mercenary. Very good. But 4 was announced this week, which is awesome. Oh, really? Yeah. Super excited. Um, next gen and current gen. So, oh, good. you know, PS4, Xbox yeah. uh, One, and Xbox 360, and PS3 as well. But did, there was some concept art released for the new, uh, for the new game. Did you, did you hear about this? I did not. Anybody? No, I did not hear um, about this. So the villain is on the cover of uh, Far Cry 3, so we assume it's the villain on this new cover. They said it was the villain, I think. Um, but it has a white um, male wearing an all-purple suit. He has like an RPG next to him, a uh, rocket-propelled grenade, not a role-playing game. He has an RPG next to him, and he has his hand on the head of a black, uh, like a black like, kid, okay. and like the kid's holding a grenade. And so a, pe- a lot of people got mad and said it was racist. Oh. Um, like, like it, it, it like looks. Uh, Coney, you need, you need to see it. It looks like he's dominating him. It's, it's pretty, but sounds like Coney. I mean, in my opinion, it could have been a lot worse if it was a Muslim boy. Right. The grenade. Right. It's not even that implies more stereotypes. Right. I, mean, I think. I think. I think this new one's set in Kenya, so like he's Kenyan. Well, it is Coney. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, but white the Coney. the guy's not. It's a white Coney. The, th- the thing, my thing about it is everyone's like freaking out and calling Ubisoft uh, racist, right? Ubisoft, the people that make Far Cry. Um, my thing is like, yes, it, it can be perceived as racist. Like, I didn't think it was racist until I heard the controversy 
And then I was like, oh, yeah, I guess I could see. But my thing is, like, he's the villain, yeah. right? So, like, making him racist makes us hate him even yeah. more. So, like, that's... Or yeah, maybe not true. for Andrew. Might not make Andrew hate him. Well, <laughs> yeah. Andrew. <laughs> Andrew uh, identifies with this villain. Um, no, but it makes, us, it makes us hate him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And it's one of these things, like, the game industry is, like, all the fans are constantly, like, we want our uh, games to be as realistic as movies, but then they get angry when, like, there's racism. Racism exists. I don't think we should. Exactly. And there's a lot of movies about racism. I don't think. So I think another games th- should start exploring these, like, dark themes well, as racism. Well, another thing is I don't think that people should be so quick to judge. If it's just concept art. You know? Right. I mean, it's, it's probably. It's early in production, too. So, I mean, right. It's not like, right. Like, 12 Years a Slave, you could say there's. Like, exactly, like that's racist, a horrible know, movie with it seem like like slavery is bad, you know. I mean, you so can say the bad guy racist, is racist. Really. Right, exactly. Like I it mean, just makes you hate him all the more. Yeah. Um but yeah, I didn't even like think it was racist until I heard like I was just I saw it and I was like, Yes, Far Cry four, can't wait. I heard they're um making Fallout four. That's it okay. hasn't I think like um Bethesda like uh bought the like rights to the name Fallout 4 because if they didn't have the rights to the name you know what I mean who owned it before was it like Obsidian or something or like they just made sure they had the rights to okay, it yeah. like they um, bought a copyright <clears throat> just to like ensure that they had the rights to the name Fallout 4 and the domain names and things of this nature um, it hasn't been confirmed it'll probably be confirmed at E3 that'd be cool which is I wanna do E3's in uh, like 25 days I wanna do like a like a predictions right. episode that'd be cool mm-hmm. E3 yeah. special yeah, an E3 special. That'd be cool. I like E3. Mm. Uh. Well, another video game that uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have seen, but they just, re- or I guess it was about a month ago, released uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Oh, yeah. Mm. They released the game. Oh, yeah, it got, like, announced. Yeah, Kevin yeah. Spacey. Are, yeah. Kevin Spacey. Yeah, it's uh, going to be Advanced Warfare. He's a good guy. Which, Kevin Spacey, what's going on here? Kevin Spacey, he's, he's going to be a voice He's, he's like, part of the campaign, like, a pretty big part of the campaign, okay. apparently. Hey. But the real question is, are people still into Call of Duty as much as they used to? Like, uh, is this actually going to make any money? Because this is, like, the tenth one. <laughs> yeah, See, that's the thing, though. We like, talked about this last episode. Like, 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 yes, um, it will make a lot of money, well, but they are also milking that franchise way too much. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, good, I've, good I mean, I've been a Call of Duty fan forever. Right. But, I mean, it's fun. they're but, fun games. I, and, I, and, and another question I've had towards this is it's, it's advanced warfare. It's supposed to be more futuristic. Right. Maybe are they trying to go towards more of a Halo direction? Maybe. Um, I think basically the idea behind this is, have you heard of um, Titanfall? I've heard of it. Titanfall just came out as this huge first-person shooter. You're in giant mech suits and you're shooting. I think they're basically just trying to copy Titanfall. Really? <laughs> like, yeah. Um, but not Halo at all. Because Titanfall is super popular. Maybe a little bit Halo. But like the like Titanfall, the huge thing is you're in these mech suits and you're running around shooting yeah. each other. But you can also be on the ground, not in the mech suit. So I'm looking forward to Arkham Knight. Did you play any of the Arkham games? Oh, oh man, I love them, Batman. Awesome. Yeah, they do look pretty sweet, especially the newer ones. Oh, yeah. the new one, like Arkham Knight, it looks really good. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for it. See, I think the main reason I've never really gotten into a lot of these games is because I was always more of a multiplayer guy, like mm. online and stuff. I never was a huge campaign. Yeah, player. I'm not. I, I'm the exact so, opposite. I'm not a big multiplayer guy. Yeah. Um, I like, I like local multiplayer. You know, uh, yeah, like us. Friends, yeah. yeah, like people on the couch next to you. Um, but I'm not a big fan of like online multiplayer. Yeah. I don't, I don't get it. I mean, like I have, I have a respect for the campaign and everything. I think it's very cool. I just find myself getting bored with it. I guess. Have any of you guys played Call of Duty Three? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There, there is no multiplayer. That's like before it really got yeah. huge. So like it was popular, yeah. but not if you're huge. A campaign guy, check it out. Mm. Oh, there's not multiplayer in that game. No, no multiplayer. Yeah. That That's surprises me. But it's a sweet campaign. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, but Call of Duty 4 I played. I didn't play it all the way through. Call of Duty Four is what like revolutionized. Yeah, that's where it got huge. Player. You can't really do online. multiplayer on that anymore, probably. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a lot of hackers, old. but it, I've I well, still have it and it still works. Like, well, but they person. probably. I know it's kind of sad. There was like a time when like you would go online and everyone Germany online playing were like online super access. nice and stuff yeah. and just like oh, super cordial. Oh, now yeah. everyone's such yeah. like you oh can't my join gosh. a lobby without finding a twelve-year-old who banged your mom. Yeah, exactly. It's impossible. It's impossible. Speaking of games. Uh, do you want to I, w- I would love to play a game. Do you have any ideas for a new game? <coughs> let, me ch- let me check my, my notes. Oh, do you have notes? Perfect. Um, yeah, we always play a game on the show here. Um, we do. We, yeah, we this do. something that I didn't know. Oh, well, you should listen to it. There's already three episodes up there. 
There were, there's a perfect trinity of episodes you can go listen to right now, Andrew. You, should, you could listen to it while we're recording. You could listen to... On your way to your party? Yeah, what party are you going to? It would have been I kind of... Even like five minutes. It's a friend of mine's uh, graduation party. But no. No. I'm sorry. All right, we'll, we'll stay for a quick four, game. And it's 4.45 right now. Stay for a quick game. We're trying to, like, trailblaze and play some new games, but we've, we've played classics. Like Do you have a, any... Uh, two Truths and a Lie? Good ideas for it's, It has to be, like, a... Well, see, that's the thing. I, people, as much as people would love to see us kiss, <laughs> oh. we could play Seven Minutes in Heaven or something. As much as people would love to see us kiss, um, this is an audio show. You know, do you see any cameras? No. So we, we got to pl- We could get a camera pretty easily. That's true. That's especially if we're kissing. My uncle has a lot. Of <laughs> <laughs> My uncle's taking a lot of videos of me kissing. Yes. <laughs> I have 20 questions. 20, oh, 20 oh. questions is a good one. Um, yeah, I like, I like the prospects of 20 questions. We can do that. You like 20 make it or break it again. Make it or break it was good. Um, kind of didn't work with two people. Two but. truths and a lie is a fan Just favorite. Just a suggestion. You could even dedicate. This is probably for another time, but um, Cards Against Humanity. Just dedicate yeah, to yeah. That. we were thinking about doing that. That is a really good idea. Just a whole episode of Cards Against yeah, Humanity. Be great. But yeah, would, uh, you rather? would you rather is a good one. Ooh. Yeah, um, we've played that before. Um, yeah. Make it or break it. Have you ever played that? We played that last week. It was just me and Noah last week. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty fun one. Um, basically, you have uh, like a, one of us describes their dream girl, right? And then we all go in. A, you might want to be careful if you're describing your dream girl, <laughs> seeing as you're currently in a relationship. You might want to be careful. Uh-huh. Um, but <laughs> or you could just describe Anna. I'm not be careful. You could just describe Anna, <laughs> and she thing. would like that. Or your well, mother. Yeah. She's not listening she's anyway, so it yeah, <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah, she probably won't listen. Yeah. Actually, she probably will, but it's okay. Will she? she? should. All right, Maybe. she should. There's, there are now, spread the news there are now a fantastic four. Yeah, spread the news around Wilson, yeah. so we get a lot of uh, yeah. listeners. Um, but you describe your dream girl, and then we all go, and we say something like wrong with her <laughs> that makes her or breaks it. You understand? Like, you could describe her and I could say, uh, what if she has a penis on her chest? Oh. Does that make it or break it? Are you still with her? Um, if she has a penis yeah. on her chest? Yeah, I like this game already. It's, it's pretty we can play that. I mean, it's a good game. Yeah, we can play 20 that. Questions. 20 questions know. we haven't played before, so we, we can play more than one game. We've done, we've, we've done more than one game before. going in before Andrew has to leave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which one would you rather play? We're probably going to play more than one, but... Really wish I had my like cup. Just make it or break it Drink idea. All right. Say we try it out really quick. You like it? Um, describe your dream girl, Andrew. Hang on, let's get some theme music. Okay, have a little theme music here. I don't know. It's a little segue. I don't know. It's hard because we can't really hear the uh, music today. I love it. I All right. Good. All right. This is Make It or Break It. Andrew's going to describe his dream girl right now. All right. Um, how detailed should I be? Yes. Very detailed. Okay. Yes. She weighs about 120 pounds, probably. Yes. Hmm. Maybe 125. Um, are we talking like the pounds that we use in America? Pounds or yes, kilograms? Pounds. We're talking pounds. She right has now. 125 pounds uh, she, of money. <laughs> She uh, she will be American because I'm not really wait like she's into uh, other races. She's, oh, she, okay. <laughs> I thought you meant like she, uh, she just, will uh, soon be American. That was you American, on like the American cover of Far Cry Four, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not racist, but uh, I just stick to white people. Right, right. It's a se- it's a sexual preference. <laughs> yes, you know, it is a it's not. Um, uh, and uh, let's see, uh, dark hair mm-hmm. and. Uh, Nice face, obviously. I mean, I don't know how you describe a face really in detail, mm-hmm. but um, everyone wants a nice face. Yeah, um, right. And uh, you know, probably like a few inches shorter than me. Okay. Six foot, so you know, any any anywhere between. Like height that, or height, penis height, length. Height wise, this is yes. <laughs> this is definitely on. She's height, a few inches she shorter won't than have you. A penis. <laughs> Hopefully, well, she might. We're about <laughs> to find make it or break yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we are about to find out. But um, uh, okay, and I guess. Uh, I guess that's kind of it. Okay, so Nick, Noah, or me, who wants to try first at breaking it? I guess how we're going to do this is um, we each insert our own um, Here, Okay, here's the thing. Quality. Should, I, should I give her a personality? <clears throat> you could, yeah, yeah, give her a personality, yeah, yeah. Okay. of course. Uh, that is important. She loves music, and she's very open-minded. Okay. 
Okay. And that's about all I Is she need. bubbly? Uh, no. Okay, good. I'm not into bubbly girls. She's okay. really relaxed. Yeah. And, uh, like bubble, like the, uh, you say you're not into bubbly girls, like that episode of Spongebob where he makes a friend out of bubbles. Yeah, yeah I'm not into... You're not into kind. girls or, made of bubbles? Or, or into just the, the adjective. Bubbles the blue Powerpuff Girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like Dude, I, the Powerpuff Girls, man. Great, great like show. Like the Powerpuff Girls. Craig the Craig there. I love the Powerpuff Let's Girls. All right, um, so um, each of us... Now, I want to go ahead and say we should start out with minor things and gradually build up, because last week, Noah and I were playing. He described his girl, and, yeah. I, and I just said AIDS, and that was it. Break it broke it. Because um, yeah. no one wants AIDS. Like, well, yeah. So... I would, I, I feel like no matter how much I loved a person, if they had AIDS, I'd no AIDS, no the total deal breaker. Probably kill them in their sleep. <laughs> no one wants that to spread. Now, how okay. would you how would you kill them? <sighs> More AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the AIDS would get to them, but it, it'd be slow. It'd be slow. Uh, all, right, slow all right, all right, all right, all right. But I guess if you loved them, you'd put them out of their misery. If they had yeah, AIDS. Exactly. Because yeah, AIDS, AIDS, very slow, painful ever. death. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't think there's. Any I I think I'd rather have any AIDS. disease than AIDS. Literally anything. Rather live without legs. Than yeah. Legs. All right. Um, you want to start, Noah? Start us yeah, off. Break, um, Andrew. All right. I'll put this woman. She's a size 15 men's f- uh, foot feet Ooh, footwear. That's good. She I like is, that. Ooh, that is a good one. Um, I just I'm gonna picture Timothy Grow. <laughs> no, but like, it's um, not her whole body. Just her like yeah, feet are yeah, really unproportional. Feet, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, uh, that's that's okay. I could deal with that. Okay. I could deal with that. Wouldn't like it, <laughs> but it could work. It's fair. No footsies. Ever. She like, doesn't like to go out, of the house, go out of the house very much. She just likes to stay inside. Mm. Like, whenever she does, she, she gets, like, really bored. Mm. Like, oh, I want to go back home and watch TV. Uh, I guess it's understandable. As long as she's eating healthy, I don't want her to get fat. <laughs> but, um, That's fair. I mean, I, I, could, I could deal with that, and then, you know, I could just get her out of the house and... Kind of, kind of See, one of the problems <laughs> I have with this game is it's kind of you kind of contradict yourself because like he describes her as like open minded and then Nick says <laughs> she never leaves true. the house. You know what I mean? So well, it's all right. I mean, it's still a good game. She's yeah. open minded to like television shows. Yeah. <laughs> She's oh, yeah, <laughs> new yeah. shows. Uh, yeah, I'm open minded too. Seen this yet. It looks it looks different. I'll try it out. Yeah, I'll watch it. Yeah, exactly. See how the pilot is. That's a very good point, Noah. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah. You're, thank you. What if she has really bad uh, hearing, like, Ooh. like constant, like, like really bad? Like, uh, she can still hear you, but like not well. That would annoy me. I know bad. it would annoy me too. I can deal with it though. Okay. If she's this perfect girl, <clears throat> then mm-hmm. yeah, yep. Right. So so far, perfect girl. Other than size fifteen feet, so size fifteen men's. Yeah. Big feet. Yeah, that's, that's um, some big feet. Some big uh, feet. She doesn't like to get out of the house. Doesn't like to get out of the house, and she can't hear most of what you're saying. <laughs> Just have to yell all the yeah, time. Yeah, like you have to have to okay. yell a lot. Like if you want to show her a drum solo, like, what do you think of this drum solo? Mm. Mm. She, she, she could, Drums are pretty loud, I, though. She might be really hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Used to that. <clears throat> all right. Um, so we haven't uh, broken it yet. No. All right. Back to the feet. <laughs> Ooh, uh, she has thick, greasy hair oh. on both of her feet. That she oh, re- on the feet. She, re- she refuses to trim. She's got little <laughs> hobbit feet. Is that the only thing she refuses to trim? <laughs> we'll save that quality uh, for her. <laughs> if it's not broken yet. We'll <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, um, she has like hobbit well, feet. Well, see, I honestly Harry don't hobbit like feet. feet anyway. Like even just normal, regular feet. I'm just not a big f- foot fan. So even if it is gr- like even if it was a good foot, I'd still think it's gross just cuz I don't like feet. Mm. So I could still deal with it. That's one thing I never understand is feet fetish. Like yeah. people that have foot oh, fetishes. Yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh, just, so I, disgusting. Feet are just so nasty. I just kind of I so I would ignore them to begin with. Oh dude. So I could foot fetishes are so <laughs> gross. Like I was watching the show and like you think like he just likes feet. No, dude. <laughs> this guy like had a girlfriend. It was on like MTV or something. This guy had like a girlfriend and she like came over and he like p- like put her on the bed and like took her shoes off and just started like smelling her feet and like licking them and stuff. It was dis- oh, oh my gosh. I know. I <laughs> I don't know. Um, if, you, if you guys could see our faces right now. <laughs> I know, exactly. This is a moment where I wish it was a video mm. podcast. We had a video segment. Wow. Um, Nick, you're up. That did not break it, did it? No. Okay, Nick, you're up. Going back to... Sorry about that. 
<laughs> You're gonna be sorry. <laughs> Silence your phone. Dude. Am I on? Can I go? Yeah, go. Right. I, f I found a better way to do theme music since the. Mm, thank you. Nick. Going back to the going outside thing, whenever she goes outside, um, she gets a rash. Like yeah. all over. No, <laughs> no, everywhere. No, wherever the sun touches. Like on her, like if oh, she's okay. wearing short sleeves, like on her arms, on her face. What kind of rash is this? Like, is this so like she's a vampire. Vampires walk out and their Wait, like, bodies is this, burst is in this flames. Like, is this like a. Noah. <laughs> Seriously? Is this like a bad, ra like a like a like a really noticeable rash or? <clears throat> yeah, and it like it like itches. So, so she can't so go outside at all. How'd Andrew meet her? How fast? How fast <laughs> would it take for it to go away? Uh, she'd have to go back inside for maybe like five, six hours. This is rough. Hmm. But if everything else is still perfect, oh, I man. think I could put up with that. I mm. really do. Okay. Wow, you're a great I think guy. I could do that. You're you're very yeah. tall. Oh, I, I mean, that's pushing. Now I know why you're with Anna. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. I hope she doesn't listen to this. She's, a, she's nice. Is a joke. She's a nice girl. <laughs> Great um, so anyway, she's a nice girl. Break me, Paige. Okay. Um, her eyes are always just. You know how like you wake up and there's crust all over your <laughs> eyes. <laughs> or is she like always? She always just uh. has crust all over her eyes. Can I not just clean it up? <laughs> it's always. It's always there. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting pretty bad. Um, uh, all these things, I don't know. I'm guessing the marriage would last last like five years, maybe. <laughs> five years. So this is probably. I think that'll break it. That breaks it. Definitely. All right. I think I'm broken. I we think that broken. Means, I think that means you win. Andrews, that's a pretty bad one. <sighs> okay. What's up? I'm gonna keep talking. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, we finally broke Andrews. Um, I guess that means you win. I don't know. I we win. I guess. I guess you you just go until really you break it. It's just an entertaining. It is a very fun game. Fun I game. like that game a lot. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what to do here because I don't want to leave, <laughs> but I think I. Need well, to. I think I do need to. Have Andrew, you. don't um go at I'm all. Sorry, I've got a uh, got a clam fry waiting. For mm. you. I, is he? I. I it's been good having you. Save me a. Yeah. Uh, Get me a doggy bag. I'd love yeah. to have some clams. Okay. Mm. Bring me clams some are clams really good. Like next week or something. Well, it's your first time, isn't it? Yes. You're no longer a clam time. virgin. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but, How long uh, do clams I'd last? I'd love to do this again sometime. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I'd love to have you back on the show. Uh huh. It's been you great. Some it's very fun. And, uh, I'll think of some great topics. Some yeah. Music. Give Andrew an outro. Oh wow. I didn't expect that. Oh, you get an outro. You deserve an outro. It's a tradition every time. Can it be the song outro? Is that a song? From '83. Get out, get out, get out This here. is the best outro ever. Alright, well, thank you so much, and I guess I'll talk to you guys That's another right. time. Bye. Bye, Andrew. See you later. It was, it was a pleasure. Enjoy the clams. Alright. Um, oh, are you okay, Andrew? He just fell. He just <laughs> fell onto a pit of spikes. Well, he's okay. Doesn't look okay. <laughs> All right, Els, I'm glad Andrew could be here. I love having Andrew on the show. Um, your topic was what was your topic again? Habits. Habits. Nick, your topic was food. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I guess I have to wrap this up because of other pre a previous engagement. Um, but I'm trying to think of a topic because we're doing a topic before a topic. I go in there. Um, hmm. I've got a, uh, a topic I've been mulling over. I've been trying to think of this one for a while. Um, if you could live in any uh, fictional universe, which one would it be? Now, this is a big question. You know what I mean, of course. Yeah. Like, DC Universe includes, like, Metropolis, hmm. you know. Is it any fictional universe, or does it have to be, like, superhero? Oh, no, any universe. I'm just, uh, my example is the DC Universe. You know, Metropolis, Gotham, all the heroes are in that universe. See, I would say, may I, can I go? Yeah. Okay, I'd say... I know. Go. Go. Okay. Nick. 
I'd say the I'd, first. I'd want to say the Mushroom Kingdom universe, mm. the Mushroom yeah. Kingdom. But then again, it seems like no one there has uh, like, like a real personality. You seem like flat people. That's you know a good I mean? point. So yeah. It's, it's like, like, Every time you talk to Toad, he says the same thing. <laughs> he says the same thing. Mario, whenever he's, he's happy, he does the same voice. thing. Yeah. They seem very uh, surface level. It'd be kind characters. of frightening universe. It is. Yeah. It'd be kind of scary. Yeah. And <laughs> terrifying. So, um, my answer to that is uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Stay in this universe. So is it the stay Mushroom Kingdom, one. or no, stay in this universe like is your answer? Universe. Well, there's a lot of universes to choose from. So. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Think the, about it. See, uh, Princess Yoshi, Peach, Yoshi's, though. Yoshi's, I would try to take Princess Peach from Mario if I was in the Mushroom Kingdom. Is that Yoshi's universe? Is it a different universe? I, like I think it's the Mushroom see, Kingdom. The thing about, the thing about yeah. um, living in a, in a universe with superheroes, if, if you weren't a superhero, it'd be really hard to have mm. any other career. That's a very good point. Or even any, like, religion. Yeah, that would suck. Like, you live in the DC universe, and, like, you're constantly, you're just, like, a hu- like a guy, and yeah. you see Superman doing all this if crazy cool stuff. you were a doctor, you'd be insanely busy. If you were a yeah, that's true. police officer, you wouldn't get any work, really. And um, unless you were, like, a prison keep, then I guess it would be hard, though, because everybody in your prison are... Super villains, so I don't know. I don't know if I'd live in one of those universes. No, uh, pick a universe though. Go ahead. And yeah, I'm trying to think. Pick what a else, universe. What else yeah, I think a really cool one to live in um, would be Pokemon. Yes. You know, 11 years old, you're just no more school, nothing else. 11 years old, you get to pick one of three Pokemon and just go. That'd be the life. Just out in the world. Running around. Oh, man, that would be great. The Guitar Hero universe? What about that? <laughs> You're just constantly covering people when you get world famous. <laughs> I, that's a good universe. <laughs> or you're not. You're one of the people in the crowd that just, you do, like, the two emotions, you're like, the, back the, and forth. You're the best cover band in the world. You know every single song. <laughs> yeah, because that is. Like, you get world famous in Guitar Hero, and you never write a song of your own. That's true. You just, I think Guitar Hero 4, like, tried to let you write songs of your own, but it didn't really. I mean, yeah, I think the Pokemon universe would be pretty yeah, awesome. Okay, on. I'd love to live in the DC universe, but I feel like it's the same thing, like powers. I, back, I need powers if I'm living. Yeah. Yeah. Take it back, Cooking Mama universe. I'd love to. Great. Great mm. You you like Cooking Mama, don't you? Well, no. You you said that on uh, one of the other you episodes. Live in the, um, no, yeah, like I said, my favorite game was Smash Bros, and you said. Uh, yeah, I mean. It's you said fun. Paige's favorite game is. Uh, oh no, Harvest maybe you said Moon. Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon. My yeah. apologies. Sorry, well, it's fun, but the food. You know, if you get to make food all the time, delicious food. I like that kind of universe. Yeah. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up uh, today for the Paige Campbell Show. I have to cut things short, unfortunately, because I have a party to run to. Um, be sure to follow us on Twitter, at Uncle Paige. Uh, at Noah Aiden 42 And uh, Nick does not have a Twitter, so don't follow him. Um, I don't know why. Okay. It's hard to tweet about these things with Nick not on the Twitterverse. Um, if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and, of course, share with your friends. Yeah. Yeah, give us some outro music, of course. Find some good. But please share your with your friends. That's how the word gets out. Word of mouth. Thank you. I need some outro. Nah, that's not good enough. <laughs>